hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good because i'm doing amazing as you guys can see i feel like i said that all the time <laughs> maybe that's my intro actually so today i'm going to be spilling all the tea on our girl's trip our vacation our trip to zanzibar tanzania i'm going to be telling you guys everything you need to know about the trip including the ones that you guys do not know so i'm starting from instagram if you're not following me on instagram you are wrong okay you are wrong follow me on instagram at daisy space at a space at a underscore space on instagram please go and follow me there because i do a lot on instagram you guys i got quite a number of questions so what i'm going to do is this if i answer your question already i am not going to read your question out okay like if i answer it if i already answered it i won't read your question out okay just so that i can get through everybody's unique questions okay how were you able to gel with other ladies since they were not particularly your friends okay so for me it wasn't a problem at all it wasn't difficult at all for me to you know relate with other ladies uh i, I don't know personally i don't have a problem relating with other people i always say i'm not the friendly type meaning that i'm not the type to approach people and try to make friends however i receive friendship i tolerate people very well i in fact i can be friends with everybody i always say it. i can be friends with everybody and anybody so i feel like yeah there's, there was really no problem and everybody on the trip were fantastic were amazing ladies so it wasn't even a problem of trying to gel we just gelled okay and actually they're not really strangers to me okay so obi and noye are nello's sister-in-laws they're not strangers to me i've met them before i've parted with them i've had fun with them even in the village okay so they're not strangers to me at all chidema who is nello's cousin is not a stranger to me as well i have you know talked with her before seen her before done things with her before so it's not you know it wasn't weird you know being with her and then for chinyere it wasn't a problem at all i felt like i already know her okay the way you guys feel like you know me is the way i felt like i already know chinyere because i've been watching her for a very long time but even aside watching her we actually used to communicate in dms on whatsapp we've discussed a lot in the past so it wasn't in fact, I felt like I've seen her before, even though that was my first time really meeting her in person. It didn't feel like, oh, this person, it just felt like, oh, hi, what's up, how now? That's, that's how it felt, okay? So it wasn't a problem at all for me. Now, this person is asking, how much did you pay for the outings, okay? So for the outings, we had like a brochure of, you know, prizes and stuff to pay for the outings. Average price for outings is $50, okay? That's average price. Most times less, sometimes more. But let's just say average price for outings was $50, okay? And now let me just answer some questions that I got over and over again before we continue, okay? Now the first question I got over and over again is what is the budget, okay? What was the budget? How much did you guys spend? How much do I budget, you know, for a solo trip or a girl's trip or whatever, okay? I would say that if you want to go to Tanzania, if you want to go to Zanzibar, you want to have fun, you want to flex, you want to do everything you want to do, you don't want to be thinking about money, you know, too much, I would say just hold 2 million naira, okay? It's a lot though, but it actually covers a lot of things and change will remain, Sha, okay? Change will remain, especially if you're not going for the kind of, you know, accommodation we went for. We went for a villa, you can go for an accommodation that is less, especially when you're single, you can go for an accommodation, as in, if you're a solo traveler or if you're just two girls or two, you know, partners, okay, you can go for a cheaper accommodation. So your budget should be somewhere between 1.5 million and 2 million naira, okay? But if you want to enjoy yourself, you don't think about money, you want to just be like, how much? Just swipe card, swipe card, swipe card, okay? Just budget 2 million naira. It is sure going to cover your trip very well, okay? As long as you're not there going to eat caviar and uh, popping champagne or whatever. <laughs> Another question I got is, did we use a travel agency? The answer is yes and no, okay? So, yes in the sense that one of us, Noyen, actually has a travel agency. So, Noyen was the one that did most of the planning. Getting the visa, getting the accommodation, you know, flight ticket and all of that. Noyen did most of it, okay? So... Noye has a travel agency. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. I'm going to leave her number in the description box so that you can, you know, contact her and talk with her. The name of her travel agency is Rich High Services. So if you need someone to help you organize your travel, Noye is the best. In fact, Noye is your plug. Like, Noye is that kind of person that when you go on trip with her, you will get the best price for everything. Like, she knows how to 
do corner corner as in <laughs> not corner corner but she knows how to really get the best price for everything okay so Noye is your plug she also has a channel here okay just with Loretta she has a channel on YouTube so you can come subscribe to her channel and just keep up with her okay aside personal spendings personal shopping you know personal waka let me give you guys a breakdown okay so visa we paid 120k 120,000 naira I'm going to be giving you guys the figures in naira okay 120,000 naira for the hotel in total everything was over four thousand dollars okay in total for the hotel the room okay the accommodation okay now what happened with the accommodation was the accommodation was actually for four people right it was a villa for four people but Noye had to contact you know the hotel and tell them that we had two extra people and we didn't want to go and start renting a separate room for them or get putting them in a different accommodation we all wanted to stay together so Noye contacted the hotel and they charged us more okay for that for the same room but they now give us extra beds okay i think they charged us like 70 dollars per bed or something like that per night i think so i'm not really sure um no is going to do a video about this as well so i think she'll give more breakdown but just know that everything we paid for the hotel room was over like four thousand two hundred dollars or something like that okay in naira each person paid four hundred and twenty thousand naira okay each person paid four hundred and twenty thousand naira and it was good like it was a very good place it was worth it for me it was actually worth it and then our ticket was four hundred and thirty seven thousand naira as early as possible okay once you guys have locked down your dates and all try and book your flights as early as possible just so that you can get the best deal on flights because trust me the way flights are these days you can be you can be lounging and sipping tea and next thing flight is times two okay and you have to pay so just know that the earlier you book your flights, the better for you, okay? Then transportation to and fro the hotel, we paid $240 for the transportation. So $40 each to and fro the hotel. Then daily transportation to, you know, town and stuff like that, like to just go and buy stuff, to go to the market, was $30 for, you know, the bus that would take everybody at once. That bus was $30. So each person paid $5 each for any time we went out and came back to a closed location, okay? It was pretty affordable because when the driver takes you there, they wait for you to do whatever you want to do and then they bring you back. But I think they have a time slot. But I don't think we ever exceeded that time slot. So we always pay $30. But for transportation to further places, I think like to Stone Town, it was like $120. But I, I, I think we paid it just once, that $120. Other times we paid for activities. Okay, so when you pay for activities, your transportation is included in the activities. Um, I don't know if it is all resorts or all, all hotels that, you know, um, that uh, what they call it offer this but that's what they were doing in our own hotel okay we stayed in le messien resort very beautiful place okay very beautiful place like i should just carry the place and come back to nigeria <laughs> very beautiful place and i've also had gotten questions about how did you guys split the bills how did you guys pay did somebody pay for you guys did people pay by yourselves we all paid equally for the trip um except for your own personal waka or personal activities we all paid equally for all the chips okay you needed you needed to see us calculating how much okay you, you are giving me five dollars you are giving me three dollars you are giving me two dollars <laughs> you are giving me twenty dollars okay we broke everything down no shame no like i mean we're all friends we're all i don't know friends sisters so some people they are related some people are sisters some people are cousins we're all friends there so it wasn't awkward for us splitting the bills or trying to you know break down the bill it was just normal for us okay the only day that we did not pay for things ourselves was the day that was nello's birthday okay shout out to you nello because you really you really gave us a good time okay so yeah the day that we didn't pay for ourselves was the day we went out it was on nello's birthday so she took us to uh that was the day we went snorkeling and to sand beach and to see starfish and then in the evening she took us to dinner and everything was on her okay so yeah that was the only day that you know we had a expense free <laughs> all paid um uh, activity day someone asked was this refreshing or stressful it was very refreshing okay there was no stress at all it was very in fact i had more stress in dubai than i had on this trip like hey i in fact hey it was not stressful at all it was quite refreshing even though we had activities back to back it wasn't like stressful activities like walking around the mall or walking from here to train station and back it was just fun all true um someone's asking was it as fun as you anticipated yes it was fun i think it was even more fun than i than i anticipated if i'm being honest i think it was more fun than i anticipated so yeah um it was really fun 
What will you do differently? Hmm. What would I do differently? I don't know. What would I do differently? I actually don't know what I would have done differently. I don't think there's anything I would have done differently. Maybe in terms of going with more cash, maybe I should have gone with more cash because my card wanted to act up at some point. In fact, I not even wanted to, my card acted up, acted up at some point, okay? And I had to invest my soul because... I was trying to pay and next thing they were telling me pin, pin not wanting, wanting, wanting. So if you can, if you're getting your PTA or you're getting any money, you know, that you're traveling with, if you can, try and get at least half in cash or something because doing cash payments was quite easy there. We were paying in dollars, we were getting change in shillings, we were also getting change in dollars and euros. Okay, so paying in cash, paying dollars in cash, there wasn't a problem at all. So maybe I should have gone with more cash. Um, yes, yeah, so I won't have to be borrowing from people and transferring to them and all of that. I should just go with more cash and it would have been better for me. Did this trip increase your bond with Nello and everyone there? Um, yeah, kind of. Okay, kind of. I think, yeah, we spent, I mean, basically seven nights together or eight, six nights together, seven days or eight days. So it kind of increased our bond with, well, for me personally, my bond with other people there is increased our bond. But for my bond with Nello, I don't think anything can increase this more than it already is. Like, <laughs> I don't think anything is going to increase it. It's already too much. Okay. <laughs> Would you love to go on another girl's trip with the same set of people? Plus, I love you all and enjoy the vlogs. Yes. 100% yes, I would love to go on another girl's trip with the same set of people. Like, everybody there was fun. Everybody there was, you know, interesting, down-to-earth, friendly. Like, we didn't have any stuck-up person there that I was doing, oh, I don't want to do this, or I can't go there, or I can't spend this, or I can't... You know, we didn't have... I don't know if people have people like that in their circle, but we didn't have anybody like that. We are all down to earth. We're just like sisters, you know, together. So, of course, I would love to go to another trip with... Um, this same set of people. Okay, someone said, is there anything you forgot to pack for this trip? No! If you watch my videos, you should know. <laughs> I started planning for this trip months ago, so I did not forget to pack anything for this trip. If anything, I actually overpacked because of some outfits that I did not rock, okay? I didn't rock some outfits and I also did not wear some bikinis that I packed. So I kind of overpacked, if it's that one, but I didn't, there's nothing I didn't forget. There's, not, there's nothing that I forgot to pack for the trip, okay? Did you try the local food? If yes, please share your thoughts about it. We did, well, you think, okay. So now, <laughs> I don't know if you call it local food, okay? I don't know I don't know how to call it local food because they had chicken and chips everywhere, meat and chips. In fact, I don't want to see potato again for the next two months. I don't want to see chips. I don't want to see potatoes because we ate potatoes. In fact, I tried itself. Nello ate potatoes there that is supposed to grow on her head at this point, okay? So, um, we didn't really try, I didn't really see their real local dish like maybe their soups or their stews or rice or sauces and stuff like that i didn't really see that what we saw most of most of their street food was roasted meat roasted chicken roasted beef and fries so basically i won't say that we thought we really ate their local food the next question is how were you able to cope without the girls was it difficult leaving them behind to make this trip no, it was not difficult leaving them behind to make this trip because their father was around. So it was just, it was a no-brainer. It was like, <laughs> see you later, girls. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. Peace out. <laughs> yes, I kept getting questions about this hair. So I got this hair from Aya Hair, okay, A-Y-Y Hair on Instagram. So you guys should go and check them out. It was, I got five bundles, even though I, I ended up using four. Yeah, I ended up using four bundles. I don't even think I finished the four. Yeah, I used, I used four bundles anyway. Someone said, okay, someone's asking, what was the criteria for selecting the ladies? There was no criteria per se. It was, it was not open to the general public, okay? So it was more like people we already knew, people we already in contact with, you know, it was just a no-brainer, like, for them to join. So if you have your money and you're interested, you join, you finish. There was no... Let's select, let's choose. No, there's nothing like that. Someone said, how frustrating did you find the language barrier? I want to cry half the time. <laughs> did you visit Fudani Fish Market? How did you find it? Because I felt it was overrated. Now, we went to the fish markets, but we did not enter because the smell from the entrance was so off-putting that we just like, let's pass, please. Like, the thing with this whole trip, I know I'm deviating a, a bit, okay? The thing with this whole trip is this, right? Tanzania or Zanzibar, I feel like Zanzibar is more like a white man's dream, okay? It's more like a tourist 
destination for white people. Okay, because these are our everyday lives that we are used to, that we know, maybe on a different scale, but it was like my village. Okay, so the town, the city, the life there, it wasn't intriguing to me per se because it was just like normal African village, normal, normal, it was normal. So I didn't want to see, I wasn't interested in seeing the fish market because we have fish markets here and I've seen fish, I don't know, I, I didn't have any interest in it, okay? <laughs> Our normal markets already smell like fish markets on a regular day, so I had no interest in seeing fish markets. Um, you know, when they were showing the slavery stuff, I had no interest in it, I don't know. Personally, I don't have interest in all this, let's see how the slaves lived, let's see how the slaves were treated, let's, even though we paid for it and went for the trip, all of us were on the same page, like all the girls that went for that trip were all like, next, <laughs> moving on. It was like, okay, so they held prisoners here. This was a church that they, I beg, I beg, move on, please. I didn't want to see the change. I just did not have interest in all of that because, it, I beg, we already know these things, okay? So it's a white man's destination. I mean, we saw white people in the villages, in the bushes, not bushes, but like in the villages, white people, we are just walking about around, you know, going, lodged there. We were even lodged in resort and we were feeling cool to ourselves. A lot, of, a lot of white people were lodged in the villages, like different rooms and hotels, small, small hotels in the villages, okay? So it's more like a white man's, a, a white man's dream. So it didn't really, aside the water, the beach, the scenery, the calmness, the coolness, you know, it wasn't really like so intriguing to me as a person seeing Tanzanian lifestyle, like the village, village lifestyle, okay? One says the do's and don'ts of the place and the activities not to miss, okay? The do's and don'ts of that place, I don't know. Nelo did a video about, no, it's her own do's and don'ts. Nelo did a video about, you know, the disadvantages of Zanzibar or things that she found annoying in Zanzibar, okay? So you guys should go and watch that video on Nelo KK's channel, okay? Try as much as possible not to look like a tourist, but there's nothing you can do about it, they know, okay? The moment they talk to you, they know. So you have to be careful. Try and price very well. Don't go there and just any, any amount they tell you, you just pay. You will, they will cheat you tired. Try and price as much as possible. They will cheat you, trust me. No matter how you price, they're going to cheat you, but at least it will be less than they would have if you hadn't priced, okay? So um, that's it. That's all I can come up with. Okay, the next question is, are you more tired or more rested after the trip? In between, okay? It's in between. So... Physically, I think I'm more tired physically, but mentally, emotionally, I'm more rested, more relaxed, more happy, more, I don't know, more loving, more giving, <laughs> more everything. So emotionally, mentally, psychologically, anything you want to call it, I am more rested and more refreshed, but physically... I'm a bit more tired, okay? And, well, it's not like I'm even more tired. I'm just, I'm not feeling fine. That's just it, okay? So that's, it's, and it was cold from the last day. So I'm not really feeling fine physically, but it was a, it was a perfect trip. Like, I loved it, okay? Hi, Adese. Why a villa and not a hotel? How much was the cost overall? I want to take my mom there. So for us, we chose a villa because we liked it. It's finished. I don't think... Um, we even thought about, you know, whether we should compare and contrast between hotel and villa. We just liked the villa. We just wanted the villa and we liked it and we went for it, okay? So, because of the kind of place that we are going to with the water and the beaches and the life there, the environment there, a resort, a villa, and again, our number as well, a villa was was you know it was what we, we naturally just gravitated towards okay how did you choose the friends you traveled with we didn't really choose we just i don't know <laughs> we just found ourselves somehow um but i think more of the binding factor was nello because she said on her channel and that was where chimi we headed from and decided to join um Nonye and um, um, um obi okay Nonye and obi i like calling her felicia i'm called felicia's craft but i mean her name is obi also, okay, so Noye and Obi are Nello's sister-in-laws, and then Chidema is Nello's cousin, okay? Then how was your husband's reaction about your traveling plans? My husband, let me tell you something about my husband, okay? I'm married to the best husband in the world, okay? No cap. No cap. <laughs> so the thing about my husband is this. My husband is very liberal, though. like, I don't think people understand how liberal my husband is. There are some things that I don't do or I don't say because of my parents, not because of my husband. Eh? Because my husband, anything you want to do, do it. <laughs> Anywhere you want to go, go there. As long as 
you know, the kids are safe. I mean, he was at home to take care of the kids, so he didn't have a problem with it at all. See, the thing with my husband is this. Do whatever you want to do, as long as one, it is not a sin, and then two, you're not asking him for money for it, or you're not trying to involve him, okay? So, you're not asking him to bring money, neither are you saying he must follow you, or he must do it with you, or he must plan it for you. As long as those three things are settled, do whatever you want to do. Go. In fact, he kept telling me, I, what, are you not going to come and be going? <laughs> I've already told him now that next year we are doing another trip that we might do European European tour. We might go to Europe. I was telling my husband and he was like, ah, fantastic that you guys just gonna get your Crocs ready, get your slippers ready because you're going to do a lot of you're going to do a lot of walking around. Okay, that's it. So um, there was no. He, I don't know, there was no, because I've seen people talk about, oh, whether their husbands are holding them back up. My husband does not care, as long as you're not collecting money from him and being a hair. In fact, even if you're collecting money from him, he will only give you what he has. He's not going to come and now do what you want or give you what you want because don't stress him, okay? Don't stress him, that's just him. <sighs> so the next question is, what's one thing you didn't like about traveling with other girls? Okay, um, something I didn't like. I don't think there's anything I didn't like about traveling with other girls. Like I've said before, there, are, there were some mild irritations, okay, or mild, um, I don't know the word to use, like mild, like, oh, what's that, okay, for me. But let me tell you something. Let me toot my own horn, first of all. One thing I realized is that I'm actually a dream to travel with, okay. I'm actually the best person to travel with, okay, because... I will try anything, okay? I will do... I'm, I'm actually quite adventurous, so I didn't know this about myself. I used to think that I would be the one to shy away from things. No. Anywhere, let's go. Anything, let's do. One dive inside water, I will dive with you guys, okay? Even though diving into the water, at first I was feeling somehow, but later I was like, you only live once, so, okay? So anything, let's do. Anywhere, let's go, okay? I was the same way in Dubai, so I feel like, personally, I'm not, I'm not the best person to ask this kind of question because I'm just the happy-go-lucky person. So anything we're, we're involved in, let's all do it together. Let's all be going. Like, let's just be going. There were so many things I did not particularly or I would have done differently, but I didn't feel the need to point it out. Okay, for instance, let me just even be very honest, okay? Because I know that this might be an irritation for people traveling with other people, not just girls. I travel with other people, sharing space with other people, okay? Now, for someone like me who is quite organized or likes to have my things a certain way, okay? It's not even OCD, but it's more like it helps me to have my things a certain way. For someone like me, every other person there or most other people there, we are doing things way differently than I would have done them, but I did not point it out. I did not allow it yet to me. It did not irritate me. Like, it, okay, for me, the easiest way I'll put it is this, right? If you're someone like me, okay, the best way to go about things like that is make sure on your own part your things are good, okay? You're someone that likes to be organized, likes to think, keep your things a certain way, okay? Make sure you keep your things that certain way and then remove your eyes from what every other person is doing and just face front, okay? First of all, it's not your father's house. Okay, so you cannot go there and tell people, oh, don't keep your shoe here. Oh, don't keep your pencil here. Oh, I don't like the way you're doing this. I'm like, no, it's not your father's house, okay? You're only there for a short period and you're there with other people, okay? So be tolerant of what they are doing and just remove your eyes from it. Just make sure that your things are good. As long as nobody's going to come in to encroach on your space or take your things or spoil your things, just remove your eyes from other people's business, okay? So for me, it was quite funny that I was the one who judging things okay you would think that i'm the one who will have an issue with how other people are living there but no i didn't care like as long as my own things are good as long as i arrange myself and sort my things out you guys can put your box on your head for all i care okay you can put all your clothes on the floor and walk on them for all i care i will help you walk on them as well okay so it's funny how roles are kind of reversed when it comes to things like that but yeah again one thing I'll say is when you are traveling with a group of girls, when you are all friends and you're traveling, try and, you know, be more tolerant than you even be on a normal day, okay? Because things will happen that can irritate you. Things will happen that will naturally not... you. Everybody, I mean, we are all human and we are all different. Especially for people that, you know, you are all different, you are all meeting yourself for the first time or you are all living together for the first time. People will do things that might not gel well with you or you might not like, okay? It is left for you to control yourself and control your emotions and just let it go, okay? Let it go because, again, it's not your father's house. You're not there forever. These are people that you love and you cherish and you are friends with, okay? So don't let little things destroy the experience for you as a person and for others that are on the experience as well and for your friendship in general there's no point fighting over some things okay that's 
for me personally and that's how i managed to cope anywhere in life okay i got comments about both from people there and you know in my comment section about how oh once i got there i started unpacking why did i do that that oh someone said she was even feeling sorry for me that the way i was unpacking that she felt like shouting um i just just go and have fun stop unpacking okay i saw it in one of my comment sections or so and the truth is that okay at each point in time everybody did the same thing that i did okay maybe unpacking or packing but everybody at some point spent time with their luggage while other people were doing other things okay that's number one and number two there is no activity that we had in that uh, uh, zanzibar that i didn't partake in there's no enjoyment that we did that i was missing out on there was none like everything that everybody did there i did it plus more in fact i did more than most people that were there okay so at the end of the day i think it's just a different in, a difference in perspective i did most of my work immediately we got there and i enjoyed you know for the rest of the the trip what some other people do their work you know so at some point during the trip okay so yeah, like you guys stop seeing it as if no, because I went there and I started unpacking, uh, everybody was having fun and lounging and gisting and eating, and I was there unpacking my load with sorrow and anguish. No, like it was immediately I got there and I did it on purpose because I wanted to just make sure that that part of my life was sorted out and everything was good and I could now enjoy myself freely and do whatever I, do whatever I wanted to do, okay? So, as long as whatever your roommates or your co travelers or your partners are doing does not affect you personally, they're not trying to involved in what they are doing and they are not um you know spoiling your things or you know touching or encroaching on your space then live and let live okay that's all that's all i have to say you and the lot are friends in my head but I'm my by force friends you guys should come to the u.s i'll sponsor and when i visit nigeria i'm coming to meet you all see people i'm talking about this us coming to the u.s i'm ready to come to the u.s so if anybody can give me a, a plug or something can help me to get visa to the u.s i'm putting this out there if you can help me to get visa to the u.s like quite easily it's not even about the payments but i don't mind paying for the whole thing i mean like you have a short way that i'll just get my visa very fast without any too much hassle please help me or help a sister i want to enter the u.s let me enter and go and see what you are doing there <laughs> I want to go and say hi to Biden, okay? <laughs> so please, if you guys know how I can get a US visa, I can get it quite quickly, or you have a plug, or you have a way of, you know, helping me get, I mean, authentic way, or please, uh, just let me know, okay? And someone is asking, what was your biggest regret traveling with your friends? I didn't have any regret though. You guys, that trip was so fun. In fact, living there was like, ah, we just have to leave because we cannot be there forever. Do you consider Zanzibar a safe country, especially for tourists? Yes. I did not feel unsafe for one second, okay? It is actually a very... I say white people were strolling up and down on the streets, in the village, in the bush, in the market. Like, I'm just like, if they can be like that, who am I? <laughs> who am I? Because they are the ones that should be scared. If anybody should be scared, they're the ones that should be scared. Me, maybe if I even wear hijab seven and do my face one kind, I might look like a Tanzanian. But if you're a white person, you are like a moving target, okay? They can't try that in Nigeria, I promise you. They can't even try that in my village in Nigeria. <laughs> they know if it's okay she's also asking what are the similarities when compared to nigeria um similarities i think in like ah, it's they, they look like a typical village a typical village in nigeria um yeah but they are more calm they're calmer than nigerians okay they are more like a calm people i don't know which um tribe to use and describe them maybe like alsas okay i think i would use Alsa people to describe them they're more like a calm chill tribe they're not really noisy they're not really like us you know ibos and out yorubas <laughs> okay they are more calm they are more chill someone said is there nigerian food in zanzibar we don't know funny enough because we didn't really see and we didn't actively go and look for i mean we're just there for six days seven days i, I can do without nigerian food i didn't even i didn't even remember soup safe when i was there okay is the network better and faster in zanzibar do they use our network lines like mtn glow this and that um so um in the results the network was quite fast in the results for the browsing the number because we got sims when we got there we got the uh, zentel sims for 30 dollars with um 11 gig so it was expensive 30 dollars for 11 gig okay so we just got the same um browsing with it normal browsing was okay but i heard from um, one of us that uploading videos with it you know was very bad like 
took her to this, you know. But in the hotel room, the network they had there, because there was free Wi-Fi in the in the resort. So the network in the resort, the free Wi-Fi was very fast. Like I was uploading videos very quickly. Someone said, "How much do you?" spend a day which includes food transportation and activities i would say i spent like hundred dollars a day give or take some days less some days exactly that some days more days i bought things you know for for people okay some days more but just budget hundred dollars per day you won't finish it all things being equal you won't finish it but just have it okay Ada mama just in case okay we just you just just in case you need it <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone's asking, and this is quite a good question. Do you think you all got preferential treatment because you were YouTubers? No, I don't think they knew we were YouTubers. And that's something again about Zanzibar. They were very used to cameras. Like it's not like Nigeria when you, when you bring a camera, people are looking at you somehow. There, we bring a camera. I'm talking to you like this in your face, and they're just talking normally. Okay, so I don't think we got preferential treatment. I don't even think they knew that we were YouTubers. Maybe in the course of the whole thing, they will figure it out. But they didn't ask for they didn't ask us of our handles or I mean our. Uh, what is the name? YouTube channel, whatever. They didn't ask us anything. So anyway, we are going to next. Maybe we should tell them we are YouTubers. Oh, anything for us? Anything for us? <laughs> Maybe we should try that. Hmm, good idea. Did you experience any racial issues? No. Um, I've I, I asked because I've heard Zanzibar is not the safest place for women to travel without male company. I don't know. No, I think it depends on where you go to. Obviously, every place. Every country has their downsides or has their not so glamorous side. Okay, so uh, generally, uh, that's not the vibe that I got. Generally, we were free, we went to wear what to go to, we wore what wanted to wear, you know, maybe because we we're a group of girls uh, again, but generally, that's not the vibe that I got. But I'm not going to, you know, dispute that. I'm not going to argue with that because I know that every country, every city has the not so glamorous side, has the parts that everybody wish. Is not there, okay? <laughs> we didn't really personally experience it, but not every country has that past that everybody, the, the people that live in that country are wishing nobody knew about, okay? So that one saved day, I'm sure. So guys, that's it. I think I have successfully answered everyone's questions, but if you have any extra question, just leave it in the comment section. I'm going to answer it there. Why am I stuttering? <laughs> I'm talking too fast. <laughs> anyway, if you have any extra questions, leave them in the comment section and I'm going to answer the questions there, okay? But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and support and all your shares and likes and all your accolades and everything. Okay, thank you for sharing us up on our you know, vacation as well and watching all our videos and looking at all our pictures and everything that we did. Thank you guys so much for watching this video as well and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.